As UNH prepares to honor Juneteenth as an official holiday for the first time this year, I want to encourage everyone in our community to celebrate and reflect on this important day. In addition to marking the end of slavery in the United States, June 19th is a day of remembrance and an opportunity for all of us to learn about black culture, history, and ongoing challenges. I hope that you'll take part in local Juneteenth events and look for ways that you can support our multicultural communities. When many people think about the emancipation of enslaved Africans in the United States, they think of Lincoln's issuing of the Emancipation Proclamation on September 22, 1862. Important as that date is, the Emancipation Proclamation did not go into effect until January 1, 1863. Moreover, the proclamation only pertained to enslaved people in the rebel Confederate states. It did not pertain to enslaved people in the slaveholding border states that remained loyal to the Union, Delaware, Maryland, West Virginia, Kentucky, and Missouri. And beyond that, the proclamation only freed enslaved persons who resided in regions of the Confederacy once they were in control of Union forces. Slaveholding states did not just abolish slavery because Lincoln's proclamation told them to. Emancipation had to be enforced by Union armies. And it took about two and a half years for Union armies to enforce the proclamation in the most remote slaveholding state, Texas. On the morning of Monday, June 19, 1865, Union Major General Gordon Granger arrived in Galveston, Texas to take command of more than 2,000 federal troops that had recently arrived to enforce the emancipation of enslaved people. Juneteenth is the celebration and celebration of June 19, 1865, when black people enslaved in Texas were finally emancipated. Juneteenth is now the most popular of many Jubilee Day celebrations, celebrations of emancipations in particular locations. And today, Juneteenth is recognized in every state except North Dakota, South Dakota, and Hawaii. Through the years, it has been and continues to be celebrated through song, food, spiritual practices, the arts, and political action. Juneteenth is a reminder that, regardless of what the law says, we all must remain in the fight until everyone is free. Juneteenth is a day where liberation gets to take center stage, and it's a day where we get to celebrate the work that our ancestors did to bring us towards freedom. For me, it's a day that I get to come together with my community so that we can uplift each other, and together we can find joy in the Black experience, which is something that we don't get to do very often. And we get to reflect on our experiences while we celebrate how resilient we've been throughout the years. Juneteenth is a powerful moment in history especially for African Americans. The holiday represents a number of emotions for me due to its history. On the surface, it's a great opportunity to celebrate the freedom of African Americans. But when you take a deep look at the history of the holiday, you begin to understand the pain people suffered. After African Americans were granted freedom, they were still oppressed through laws, policies, and outright violence. They were still treated as second-class citizens in the land of the free. And to make matters worse, most people are just becoming aware of this holiday because it was virtually erased from history. What I do celebrate is the strength and fighting spirits of my ancestors and those who've come before me. Through all the adversity, African-Americans have accomplished so many achievements and aided in the success of this country. It's important to uphold their legacies and keep their stories alive so future generations have an understanding of who they are and where they come from. Juneteenth is an opportunity for us as a nation to come together and acknowledge um, all of America's history, specifically black history. Um, this is an opportunity for us to educate one another on the things that had happened in our past that were concealed and to unveil the truth about what atrocities were committed um, all those years ago. And it's also a way for us to really work towards racial justice and economic justice in this nation, something that we have struggled with for some time now. Um, so for me, Juneteenth is an opportunity for 
all of us as legislators, educators, healthcare providers, everyone in this nation to really come together and really work towards an inclusive and equitable society.